So today we'll be discussing about uh, transpiration in plants, then the excretion system in human beings. So that will be the major topics of today's discussion. So with this, we'll start the session now. Transportation plants. So we know already we are studying class ninth also. Yeah, so that there are mainly two main parts, correct? Xylem and phloem. So that I'll write it down here first. Xylem and phloem. Correct. So xylem carries water and minerals from the root to the parts of the plant. This I'll write down here. Xylem carries water and minerals from the root, from the roots to the other part of the plant. So what about phloem? So it carries the product of photosynthesis from the leaves to the other part of the plant. So phloem mainly is what? Carrying the product of, carries the product of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, correct? From leaves to, from leaves to other part of the plant. So in xylem, xylem is mainly what carrying water minerals from the roots to the other part of the plant. So xylem, there is no energy used. Very important point. In xylem, no energy is used. No energy is used. Whereas in phloem, Obviously, energy is used from adenose triphosphate. ATP can write. Energy is used from where? Energy is used from ATP. Not B, it is P. ATP. Adenose tri, adenosine triphosphate. Okay. Yeah. Then just like we have evaporation. Correct. There is something called in plants transpiration. Transpiration is there in plants. So basically, evaporation we all know. Correct. Losing water in the form of vapor. So here also transpiration is also what? Loss of water. Correct. In the form in the form of vapor. In the form of vapor, correct? From the, from the, from the aerial parts of the plant. It's very simple. Parts of the plant. Just think about evaporation. You'll get transpiration too. I just erase this. Word. Yeah. Yes. So, what is the function of this? See, the main important function of transpiration is temperature regulation. Whenever there is a loss of water, for example, as a human being, if you are sweating, correct? As a human being, if you are sweating, what is the main purpose of sweating, basically? To regulate the body temperature. So here also, what is it? 
the regulation of regulation of temperature mean function in plants correct then also to create a pull second one is to create a pull to create a pull so pull in the sense the absorption and upward movement of water and minerals to create a pull for what for absorption yes and upward and upward movement of water at movement of water and of water and minerals yes so transpiration we discussed now next part is translocation translocation so the name itself says everything so translocation is transport of food from leaves so which produce the food obviously the leaves the food factory right to different parts of the plant is called translocation so translocation is basically what transport of food transport of food correct from leaves to different part of the plant different part of the plant that is called translocation yes so this is about the plants so now coming to the excretion system in human beings correct so that is kind of pretty much easy if it is a unit but before going to the excretion system in human beings excretion system so how do the unicellular organism remove the waste by simple diffusion so if they ask in the one marker regarding let's take unicellular organism i'm talking about the excretion unicellular organism so they remove by what diffusion let me write the spelling down clearly here d i f f u s i o n s i o n diffusion correct so i think we got a basic idea about excretion yes so obviously there will be some activities in the body which generates waste so mostly these waste are of what of containing nitrogen yes and the nitrogen waste produced by the body are harmful so in human beings I'll take it here next page so main level is nitrogen waste which is generated by the metabolic activities and this has to be removed if not removed what will happen if not removed harmful for the body so this has to be removed correct so the main way of removing this three is through what excretion correct so that's a process by which the waste are removed from the body so excretion excretion is a process by which the wastes are removed from the body are removed from our body
ओके यस सर जस्ट वाई डोट नो अबाउट एक्सक्रीटरी वेस्ट हियर एक्सक्रीटरी वेस्ट करेक्ट एंड देन आई विल ड्रॉ सम ब्लॉक्स ऑफ इट बेसिकली so in this i will write down yeah so the material excreted the material excreted correct so it can be salts it can be gases g a c s gases not s s then it can be what let's take nitrogenous waste nitrogenous waste then excess of water excess of water so if i want to put the branches of this one branch here then one more to here this one and this one and the nitrogenous waste mainly comprise of two things that is urea and uric acid nitrogenous waste two things urea and uric acid an excess of water we all know it is sweat and urine so this is the flow chart of excretory waste respectively okay yes so we know which process mainly the filtration in our body that is nothing but kidney correct so each kidney has got many nephrons has got many nephrons each kidney has got many nephrons okay so i can say so if you can ask me what are nephrons i'll write down here correct so nephrons are basically made of thin wall capillaries called glomerulus so i'll tell you what is glomerulus better let me write down then you'll get a better picture correct so nephrons are made of are made of cluster of thin walled capillaries 
called glomerulus. So if you ask me what is glomerulus, which is associated with a cup-like structure called Bowman's capsule. So what is glo glomerulus? It is associated with associated with a cup-like a cup-like structure called as Bowman's capsule. Yes. And I can also add with this and the long tube. And the long tube which terminates which terminates through this capsule. Okay, yes. So there is a renal artery which brings oxygen blood to the kidney. Yes, but this blood also contains the nitrogenous waste like urine and uric acid. Then the blood will get filtered through this. Yes, when it enters the nephron. Correct? Yes? So the excess of water and everything will get selectively reabsorbed by water blood vessels surrounding the tubules. So basically in this, the blood. Correct? But which part? The renal artery. The renal artery. The renal artery. Correct. It brings oxygenated blood. This already we had discussed. The oxygenated blood to the kidneys. To the kidneys. Along with what? Along with nitrogenous wastes. We already discussed that thing. Bracket, what is it? Urea and uric acid. Urea and uric acid and all other substances, correct? So this blood, this blood will get fil filtered. This blood will get what? Filtered. Yes, this blood will get filtered through the glomerulus. We already discussed that thing through the Glomerulus. I think first time you might be hearing this. Correct. And then this filtrate and then this filtrate enters through the tubular part of the nephron. Enters through the tubular part of the nephron. Yes. And one more important thing I will tell here is, so there can be 180 liters, 180 liters of Filterate daily formed. A filtrate daily formed. But only two liters, only two liters is excreted out through urine. So the rest is reabsorbed by the body. So the rest 178 liter is reabsorbed by the body. Okay. And one more question that they can ask is what are the functions of nephron? Functions of nephron. So what is the main function? To remove the nitrogenous waste. We all know. To remove 
nitrogenous waste. Correct, urea and uric acid. Next, to maintain the water and ionic balance. To maintain water and ionic balance. Yes, and that is called osmic regulation. Osmic regulation. First time you might be hearing that again. Osmic, O S M I C, osmic regulation. So, what happens? Now, I'll ask one simple question here. Okay. What happens if the kidney fails? Correct. So you might have heard about the patient has to undergo something called hemodialysis. Hemodialysis. Correct. So obviously, if the kidney fails, the blood has to be purified. Correct or not? Yes. That is done by uh, artificial kidney. Hemodialysis basically what? What is hemodialysis? The process of purifying blood by an artificial kidney. So if my kidney fails, so it's, it's mainly for the kidney failure patients. So it's a process of purifying Purifying blood by an artificial kidney. By an artificial kidney. That is called hemodialysis. Yes. Yeah. So, coming to the excretion in plants. Yes. So obviously, we know that the oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuses from stomata. So what about the excess of water? We just now discussed something called transpiration. That is one way of excretion. Transpiration. T-A-R-N. Trans. We just now discussed. Transpiration. I think I will go back. Transpiration. So do we just discuss the same thing? Yeah, transpiration part. And one more thing. The old leaves and bark of the tree is there, no? One is transpiration, other is what? Old leaves, I'll write down here. Shedding, I can tell. Shedding of old leaves and bark of a tree. Yes. And sometimes they secrete some waste substance into the soil around them. Sometimes in plants, what happens? They secrete, some plants secrete, or you can write plants, also secrete some waste substances, some waste substances into the soil around them. Yes. And then we can also say about, uh, let's take old xylem cells. Correct. 
ओल्ड साइलम सेल्स ओल्ड साइलम सेल्स करेक्ट सो दिस आल्सो कैन बी लॉस बाय द प्लैक्स लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक दैट इज नथिंग बट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ यूरिन इन ह्यूमंस formation of urine in human yeah so first one is what glomerular filtration so it involves mainly three steps so the first step here is glomerular filtration glow merular filtration so it is basically what already i discussed same thing the nitrogenous waste the nitrogenous waste correct nitrogenous waste i can add maybe glucose water glucose water yes yes uh, from the blood into the bowel and capsule of the nephron from the from the blood into the bowel and capsule bowel and capsule of the nephron second one tubular reabsorption tubular reabsorption yes so what is tubular reabsorption there will be some useful substances correct from the filtrate so that is reabsorbed by the capillary surrounding the nephron so there will be tubular reabsorption nothing but what there will be useful substances in the uh, from the filtrate from the filtrate correct which are which are reabsorbed by the capillaries by the capillaries surrounding the nephron third one secretion i told you it's a three step process the last step is secretion so what is secretion basically the urea extra oral salts are secreted in the tube tubule which operate in the collecting duct and into the ureter so the the last step is urea then extra water salts extra water salts are secreted into are secreted into the tubule which open up which open up into the collecting duct yes and then into the into the ureter that's all so that's all about this full chapter that's it yeah thank you